Yo, what's up guys? I go by the name of Gom or whatever the fuck you wanna call me. Today's episode, I'm gonna be taking over Atticus' shit. He's over there back there. So basically, he's gonna be making a drop on Ableton and I'm gonna be trying to replicate it for my FL Studio viewers. We're gonna be using Gom's Carnage Volume 1, available at Threat Collective. Let's get into this shit. Okay, simple, easy, a lot of space, a lot of room to work with. For the for the claps and the and the extra snare and the other snare, are you layering all of those three? We're gonna do a layer of all three samples. So the main one would be your the one that says extra snare, and your other two are just kind of supporting like the, the low end and the high end frequencies. We're gonna add this 808 that we have here. So T sharp four. We're gonna leave the whole 808 on that same length. We're not gonna shorten it. We're not gonna copy and paste on every kick. We're just gonna leave it like that. And you're side chaining the 808. Yes, yeah, so we're side chaining the 808 to the kick and the snare clap group. So I made a group. I'm gonna use this group as my side chain on my compressor. So I'm gonna side chain everything to my 808. So my kick and my snare clap. If you don't like that ring mod coming in from the 808. If you want to take it off, just throw an EQ, take out your high mids. And straight. Okay, next, let's do with, uh, let's work on the hi-hat. I was already going to go to the drop, but I feel like if we had the hi-hats, the drop will make a lot more sense. Hell yeah, okay. the slow, little small fucking details. Yes, sir. So we're going to go to the hi-hat on the sample pack. I'm going to choose one from here. I always like number two. Actually, let's do 12. No, so you're going to add it every, every two counts. So it's going to go ta. All right, next, we're gonna add an open hat. And all we're doing is just making it go. Oh, okay, okay. Skip the first one. If you guys notice, like I'm doing something really simple, but that's just because right now I'm just uh, trying to fill up the, those gaps that I feel that it would give me the space for me to make that drop just kind of fit in between this hi-hat loop. Sometimes when I make my drop, I'll go back in here and start removing hi-hats because it doesn't it doesn't have the same groove, you know, it doesn't it doesn't go with it. As for now, this is the, the way I work. Let's go to the bass tab, bass tab, no matter ultra number eight. Since we're working on D sharp, we're gonna bring the the transpose uh, one up. And if you're wondering how I got this, bro, I was doing this before we started the tutorial. So I added an EQ, and then what I do is I take out the mid frequencies and the highs, and I leave the low end frequency. Then I grab a tuner, and then the tuner is able to tell me what key is. Oh, on. sweet, dude! I, I have my own way of doing that, but that's actually super dope. Check this out. I bet you don't have this in fucking Ableton. So this is how I can find out how to do it as well. I open this up on Edison, which is like an audio editor, and then I can just go here and then put detect pitch regions, and it tells me A sharp and C. And there we go, FL Studio users. <laughs> you guys are winning by one. <laughs> by what? Next, we're gonna stretch it. So we're gonna hit plus two on my end. We're gonna hit little square here, and we're gonna hit beats. We're gonna hit transient. We're gonna hit the setting here, and we leave it at 100. So it should, it should sound more like a perk. Okay, time out. We don't have anything like that on FL Studio, but a workaround, and I'm gonna just fucking... Gum one, Alex one. <laughs> <laughs> so a workaround is, we've stretched it out by pushing stretch here and just stretching it out by two. The way that we're gonna get these transients is gonna be manually. Now, I don't know exactly the algorithm that this is using to do it, so I, I'm not gonna say it's exactly the same, but we're gonna cross our fingers and hope that we get the same result. So what I'm doing here is I'm creating some automation clips. I'm just dragging it down. I'm just creating these little, little shits like this. Swear to fucking God, I hope this sounds good. <laughs> okay, play yours. Oh, he got it! Bro, there it is! He got it, he got it. Okay, we're still tight, we're 1-1. One, one. <laughs> So what I did is I channeled the sample to my mixer, pushed record on Edison, and then I played the sample. So now I have the sample as an audio clip in here, and I can just drag it back into the playlist, get rid of this. All right, but this is where it gets tricky, okay? So we're gonna grab that same sample. We're gonna go back to its normal length. We are gonna do is all we're gonna do is copy and paste, copy, paste, copy, paste, copy, paste, copy, paste, copy, paste, and then you're gonna leave a four count at the end. Now we should have something like this. I got it, I got it, I got it. 
So after we make that loop, I'm gonna hit Command J. We're gonna consolidate. We're gonna double click that audio track. We're gonna hit Beats. You're gonna leave this on the last setting, which is kind of just circling around. We're gonna hit Transpose, and then we're gonna bring it up one octave. So this is what it sounds like now. Okay. Play yours? Okay, it's okay. So we're gonna just do it our own fucking stupid ass way that we've been doing it so far by just creating automation clips. What's good? Hello, my friend. Okay, now, this is where it gets really, really, really good. We're gonna grab Frequency Shifter. I still have to download that shit. This is where he loses minus three points. You're gonna drive this uh, knob down to like 400. Okay, without it. We're gonna play with the whole beat just to see what it sounds like. I'm gonna grab a tuner just to make sure that it's on key. Okay, so it's on E, so what we're gonna do is bring it one down. That's it. Boom, boom. I'm gonna show you guys a little a little tip. So let's say if you you like this drop, right? What you can do is drag it over here, leave that there, and then touch this one up, bro. You can go into like a different setting. So so now you see what I did? I, I went down to the, the one where this that has two arrows, and it's gonna sound completely different now. Watch. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, this is me when I'm working. So I'll make one drop, cool, and I'll paste it over here. And I'll keep working. So let's say I already did this one, right? Okay, I'll grab this one. I'll drop, I'll drop it an octave. I'll drop it another octave. And we out. Simple. Here, I said we were going to add a bass tab, but you can easily grab a stab. Boom. So both of these projects will be available for free in the description You can get the Ableton version and you can get the FL Studio version. Make sure you follow this man at Gom Music. He's fucking killing the game right now. Don't forget to give this video a like. Don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you guys on the next shit. <laughs>